Hey guys, welcome back to Now I Know. Today we are talking about RH incompatibility or which is also known as erythroblastosis fetalis or hemolytic disease of newborn. Now, first of all, what exactly is this? As the term says, RH incompatibility, that means it has something to do with the RH factor. Now, if you guys remember in one of the previous video in Bombay blood grouping, we were talking about presence of certain antigen on the RBC, right? That gives us our blood group. Say for example, the person has antigen A present on RBC would have a blood group A or the person would have antigen B would have blood group B. Along with this, we had talked about antigen D, presence or absence of antigen D. If antigen D is present, the person is classified as RH positive individual or the antigen D is absent, the person would be RH negative. Right? And this RH incompatibility is also based on presence or absence of antigen D on the RBC. So, so let's see what happens in this condition. Now, RH incompatibility is a condition that occurs when the mother is RH negative, but the fetus is RH positive and that happens when the father is also RH positive. So, as you can see, the mother does not have antigen D on its RBC, but, but the fetus would contain antigen D on its RBC. So, there is going to be incompatibility with respect to this RH factor. So now what happens if the fetus is RH positive and mother is RH negative? Since the mother is RH negative, that means it does not have antigen D, when it comes in contact with the RH positive RBC, it is going to recognize this as an antigen and mount immune response against it. Right, because immune system would take this as a foreign particle and would mount immune response against it and will try to clear it up. Now, this is a condition that is not going to occur during the first delivery, okay? It will happen in the subsequent delivery. And the reason is, during pregnancy, the fetal RBCs are separated from mother's circulation. Now, fetal blood is not going to enter the mother's circulation during the pregnancy, all right? So, it is separated. So, right now, the mother's cells or the mother's immune system is not exposed to uh, this antigen, RH antigen. But what happens during the delivery? At the delivery time, the placenta would be separated, right? And when this happens, there will be a leakage of fetal blood cells into mother's circulation. At the time of delivery, when the placenta is removed, at that time, the fetal blood would enter mother's circulation. Now, you have some of the RH positive RBCs, fetal RBCs that have entered mother circulation which contains RH negative RBC. That means for mother, this RBCs contain some antigen. So it is going to mount immune response against it. Now the fetus is removed. Now the baby, the child is removed. There is no problem. But the mother's immune system has been triggered because it has got something which is not present in its body. So what would happen is these fetal RBCs are going to activate the B cells of the mother. Now we know once the B cell gets activated it results in plasma cells that secrete antibodies and memory cells that is going to store the information. We have talked about this in the immune system video. So here also the B cells of the mother is going to get activated against this RH antigen or RH factor specifically with, and it would produce the plasma cells that are going to produce the antibodies which are against this RH antigen or RH factor of fetal RBC. Okay, and similarly, the memory cells specifically is going to remember and store the contact of this antigen D or RH factor. So now, this, uh, so now these antibodies that are produced is going to clear up this fetal RBC from mother. So whatever fetal RBCs were there containing the antigen D or RH factor would be cleared up by uh, specific antibodies against the RH factor. Alright, so now this would be cleared up, okay fine, but 
you know at this time there is no problem the problem arises in the subsequent pregnancy because now this mother contains memory cells against antigen d or rh factor so, so now what happens in the subsequent pregnancy these memory cells of mother is going to recognize this rh factor on fetus and is going to produce the antibodies against this so now what would happen in subsequent pregnancy these memory cells now they know something called as rh factor they are sensitized they are specific against it so they are going to get activated and would produce the antibodies against this fetal rbc which would cross placenta and it is going to lyse all the fetal rbc because it is going to recognize this as an antigen once it binds it is going to lyse the fetal rbc which is a very dangerous condition and that is why it is called erythroblastosis fetalis or hemolytic disease of newborn so now this is a condition right what can we do to prevent this condition now the prevention for this condition is amazing what uh, is done over here is the problem happens uh, because the b cells of the mother is getting activated isn't it because the b cells are getting activated they are going to have the memory cell that is causing problem in the subsequent pregnancy can we stop the uh, activation of b cell itself you know that would solve the problem so so what is done is instead of mother's b cells getting activated producing antibody and, and clearing these fetal rbcs we give ready made antibodies against this rh factor and you know prevent the b cell activation of mother that is called rogam that prevention measure is called rogam so what we do in uh, this case is we give something called as rogam administration of rogam is given to mother after first delivery so what it will do is rogam is nothing but uh, prepared antibodies against the rh antigen so even before the uh, fetal rbc would activate the b cells you have administered the ready made antibodies against rh antigen that would go and bind to the fetal rbc and would clear it up for you so there will be no b cell activation it is going to prevent the b cell activation and there will be no memory cell formation so if there is no memory cell of course in subsequent uh, pregnancies you wouldn't have any kind of antibodies produced so every time when this situation is there rogam is given that is nothing but ready made antibodies against the rh antigen that would clear up the fetal rbc before it goes and activate mother's b cell brilliant now when we are talking about this rh incompatibility there are two questions that comes in my mind we are saying that because the mother is not having rh antigen uh, and the fetus has rh uh, antigen it is uh, going to recognize this is an antigen and it mounts an immune response why doesn't this happen when the mother's blood group is uh, different than the fetus blood group right it's, it is possible that the mother is having different blood group than fetus why doesn't this incompatibility occur then the reason behind this is the antibodies against your antigen a and antigen b are of igm class okay and igm class is the pantamer is the uh, largest antibody which cannot cross placenta so it cannot cross the placenta and it is not going to harm the fetus but the antibodies against the rh antigen are of igg class and this is the class of antibody which can cross placenta and it is going to cause the problem now the second question is we always say that uh, whatever blood group we have we have antibodies already present against it right if i am a blood group a person i would have antibodies against blood group b right what happens for rh negative person the mother who is rh negative wouldn't she already have rh positive uh, antibodies to already attack the first fetus in during the first pregnancy the answer is no the person who is rh negative does not contain antibodies against rh positive antigen it would produce the antibodies only when it is ex posed to rh antigen or the antigen d all right so the antibody against this antigen d is not present in the rh negative person unless the person is exposed 
to this particular antigen these are the two important thing to understand i used to have these uh, two doubts for really long time so i thought i should share it with you so that's all that's all about uh, rh incompatibility it is basically because of mother who is rh negative containing fetus which is rh positive during the first pregnancy there will be no problem because uh, only at the delivery time the fetal rbc enters mother circulation now because it has entered mother circulation it is going to activate the b cell that is going to produce plasma and memory cell against it so in the subsequent delivery that can be a problem because the antibodies are going to cross the placenta and damage the fetal rbc now to prevent this the brilliant mechanism is provide ready made antibodies before it goes and activate the b cell before the antigen goes and activate the b cells of mother so this antibodies rogam preparation these antibodies would clear up the fetal rbc and there will be no problem in the subsequent pregnancy so that's all for now i hope this video was helpful do subscribe to the channel for new video every week and i'll see you next time until then keep learning